Let's make a Roy G. Biv turkey drawing today. So what is Roy G. Biv? Remember, Roy G. Biv is a way to remember the order of the colors in the rainbow. So R is for red, O is for orange, Y is for yellow, G is for green, B is for blue, I is for indigo, and V is for violet. So let's learn how to draw a turkey and use Roy G. Biv rainbow colors for the feathers. For our lesson today, we will be using this set of directions to draw our turkey. This is available on Google Classroom to use if you'd like, but you can also follow along with me in my video. So for your supplies today, you will need a piece of paper, the turkey drawing directions, which is on Google Classroom, a pencil, an eraser, a black marker to outline, and coloring materials. You should try to find the colors in the rainbow. First, we'll draw our turkeys with pencil, following along with the video. Then we'll outline with a black marker. After, we'll use lines to draw texture on the feathers. Remember, texture is the way that something feels or looks like it feels. And we can use lines and shapes to add texture to our art. Next, we'll color in our feathers in Roy G. Biv order. And then we'll color in the rest of our turkey and our background. So for your supplies, you will need a piece of paper, a pencil, an eraser, a black marker for outlining, and something to add color with. I will be using markers and crayons. So to start, we're going to draw a small circle for the turkey's head. We're going to draw this about a hand space down from the top of our paper. So I'm going to put my hand at the top, put a little dot there so I know that's about where I want my circle to start. So let's draw a circle that's not too small or not too big. Remember, this is just the turkey's head shape. You could also find a small circle to trace for this step if that's easier for you. Remember when you trace, you put an object down on your paper, you hold it with your hand that you don't draw with, and you trace around it with a pencil. Now let's draw some details on the turkey's head. So let's do a small circle for an eye shape, a triangle on the left side of the turkey's head shape that, that will be for the beak, and the waddle. The waddle is the skin that hangs down below the turkey's beak. I'm going to use an oval shape for that. Now let's draw the turkey's neck. I'm going to do two slightly curved lines to make a neck shape. Now I'm going to draw the turkey's body. So I'm going to draw on the sides of the neck and come around almost like I'm making another big circle. So I'm going to start a little bit below where the waddle is, come around, down, and curve back up. The bigger you make your circle, the bigger your turkey will be. You definitely want it to be bigger than your hand, I would say at this point. So your hands are a little smaller than mine, but my turkey is still a little bigger than my hand right now. Now let's draw where the feathers will be. We're going to draw a tall rainbow line around our turkey, almost going to the edge of our paper. So I'm going to practice that a couple times with my finger. This is called ghost drawing. I practice it before I actually draw it. So a tall rainbow line comes up and over and then down. Now I'm going to connect that to the side of my turkey's body. Now I'm going to draw another tall rainbow line on the inside of that first line. Next, let's add a bunch of small feather shapes close to the turkey's body. I'm using a zigzag line shape to make this feather shape. When I get to the turkey's face, I'm just going behind those details that I drew. So behind the waddle and behind the nose. Now I'm going to continue that feather shape on the other side and go around to the bottom. 
Now let's break up this big feather shape into different sections. So I'm going to use some straight lines to break these up into sections. I'm not going to draw through the turkey's face. I'm going to stop if I end up touching the turkey's face. These will be like individual feathers. When I start to come down, notice that my line is becoming more of a horizontal line. It's becoming more of a line that goes across rather than up and down, which is a vertical line. Next, let's add wings on the front of the turkey. I'm going to draw two curved lines for the front of the wings. one on each side. Then I'm going to connect that to the other feathers with a zigzag line. Now we are almost done with our turkey, but we need to draw its legs and feet. So let's use two vertical lines for each leg. Now let's draw the feet. I'm going to draw a almost horizontally angled oval shape on each side. So they're going horizontally, means it's going across. Then I'm going to do another one below it. And I'm going to finish with a shorter one on each side. So one, two, three ovals. Next, we are ready to outline our turkey with a black marker. I will be using a Sharpie for mine. Remember when you're outlining that you are tracing over your pencil lines and you're going slowly so that your artwork looks its very best. Also, we can erase the line that is going through the wings before we outline. So that way it looks like the wings are on the front of the turkey. So go ahead and erase that line. Remember not to outline it. Let's draw some texture on our turkey's feathers. Remember, texture is the way something feels, like my sweatshirt is soft or the table is smooth. So we can show texture by drawing different types of lines or shapes. I'm going to use some zigzag lines in this feather to show texture. I'm not going to use zigzags in every feather, but I'm going to change up the texture by drawing different types of lines. So think of lines that you know that you can draw on your own. You can also use shapes here like circles or squares or triangles. I'm going to draw a line or shape in each feather section to show texture. You can repeat a texture if you'd like, or you can continue to change them as you go around your turkey's feathers. Now that I've drawn patterns to show texture in my turkey's feathers, I'm going to erase all the pencil lines that are peeking through. Now we are ready to add color to our turkeys. So for the feathers that are tall behind the turkey, we're going to use Roy G. Biv colors to color those in. And remember, Roy G. Biv is rainbow order. So R is for red, O is for orange, Y is for yellow, G is for green, B is for blue, I is for indigo, remember that's a dark blue or purple, and V is for violet or a purple. I will be using markers to color in the feathers here, but I'm also going to use some crayon to color in my turkey's body. You can use any art supply that you have. Just try to use Roy G. Biv order here. So we are reviewing and showing our knowledge for rainbow order today.
So I started with red, I'm going to move on to orange and go through the entire rainbow order. When I get to violet, I'm going to repeat the rainbow order and start with red all over again. I will just repeat until I run out of space. I finished my rainbow order in my tall feathers. I'm going to color in my shorter feathers with brown. You can use any color that you'd like there. You can also color your turkey's body in any color that you'd like. If you want it to be rainbow too, go for it. You are the artist. A couple things that you may want to do is color in the beak orange. I'm using a crayon for this step, but you can use any art supply and the wattle that hangs below red. Feet, you can color in any color. I think I will be coloring mine in orange. So I'm going to color in these feathers a brown with my marker. turkey is all colored in. I'm going to color in my background. I'm going to use pink because I haven't used pink anywhere in my artwork already and I want my turkey to stand out. So I'm using a contrasting color or a color that I haven't used yet. You can use any color that you'd like for your background. I just happen to be using pink today. I'm going to go around the edge of my turkey drawing and give it an outline first before coloring in the background. This way, I make sure that I don't go over the lines with my color. Okay, so I am done with my Roy G. Biv turkey. I hope you had fun today learning how to draw a turkey and using Roy G. Bibb or Rainbow Order to fill in your turkey's feathers. I hope you have a happy Thanksgiving. I can't wait to see what you make today.